kids? Welcome to our online service that's been produced specially for you. Kids, welcome back. We're glad to have you here. If this is your first time tuning in to Kids Service Online, please mention that along with your name in the live chat below. Okay, now let's dive right in. Over the next few weeks, we're going to learn about how much God cares for you and me. And today we will learn about how God is always by our side and that we're never alone. Oh, this just reminded me of one of my favorite verses in the Bible. This is Psalms 139, verse 7 to 10. It says, Where can I go to get away from your spirit? Where can I run from you? If I go up to the skies, you are there. If I lie down where the dead are, you are there. If I rise with the sun in the east and settle in the west beyond the sea, even there you would guide me. With your right hand, you would hold me. Ah, every time I'm alone and I feel like God's not with me, these verses remind me that I am not alone and God is with me and cares for me. Okay, I know that you're all waiting for the stories to begin. But before we begin with that, shall we pray together first? Close your eyes and bow your heads. Lord, I want to thank you for being in our presence. Thank you for joining us here today as we come here. Lord, I want to thank you for being such a caring father, Lord, and for being here with us always and never leaving us alone. In your name I pray. Amen. Hi, children. Have you ever felt like although you have many friends, you still don't belong to a group? Like you don't fit in with them. You try really hard to get close to your friends, but you somehow always end up feeling left out and alone. Well, the Bible tells us the story of a young boy who was also in a similar situation. This boy had many brothers, but he was still very left out. In fact, he was even treated badly by them. Can you guess who this young boy was? Yes, you're right. It was Joseph. Although Joseph had 11 brothers, 10 of them always mistreated him and were very unkind to him. 
They were so mean. But during all this time, Joseph had God by his side. God used to speak to Joseph through dreams, even when he was a small boy. So Joseph always knew that he was never alone. One day, Joseph's brothers were so jealous of him that they wanted to get rid of him. So they threw him into a deep pit and had him spend an entire night in that pit. Can you imagine what that would have made him feel like, children? He was let down and rejected by his own brothers. He was in a dark pit with dangerous snakes. I'm sure that he must have been very, very afraid, just like any of us would have been. But you know, children, God was with Joseph. And God had a plan for Joseph even in that situation. And Joseph, too, did not let go of his trust in God. You see, the next day, Joseph was sold by his own brothers as a slave to foreigners. Imagine the disappointment he must have felt. He was sent away by his brothers to a foreign land with unknown people. Can you imagine how lonely he must have felt? But in all this, Joseph still held on to his faith and trusted in God. He was obedient to God and continued to honor him. Even after facing these difficulties, even in loneliness and even by living in a foreign land when nobody believed in God, he knew and he knew that God was by his side. You know, one time in that foreign land, Joseph was sent to prison for no fault of his. He may have been alone, but God continued to be with Joseph and continued to speak to him through dreams and visions. Because of Joseph's obedience to God, he was blessed and honored and he had favor from God. Soon, Joseph was so blessed and rewarded that he was made the second ruler of the whole country of Egypt. You see, children, Joseph was rejected many times by people, but not by God. God never left his sight. As Joseph remained faithful to God, God proved himself faithful to Joseph. Children, Joseph went through a lot of difficulties and rejection. He was left alone many times. But we see Joseph that he did not focus on his situation. He did not worry about the bad things that had taken place in his life. So what do you think you can learn from his life? I'll tell you, no matter what happens, God is always by our side. He cares when you are hurt, when you feel lonely, afraid and sad. And he wants you to know that you are never, ever alone. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verse 2, it says, When you have troubles, I am with you. When you cross rivers, you will not be hurt. When you walk through fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not hurt you. Isn't that such a powerful word from God? You see, God gives us the guarantee that no matter where we are and what we're going through, He 
is with us. Children, this is our power verse for this week. So shall we all use this verse and declare with confidence in God's word and believe that we are not alone? Come on, can you repeat this after me? When I am in trouble, God is with me. The Lord goes before me and will be with me. God is always with me. Even till the end of time. Okay children, are you ready to answer some questions? Question number one. How many brothers did Joseph have? Option A, 10. Option B, 11. Or is it option C, 12? Come on children, quickly type in your answers. That's right children. Option B is the right answer. Joseph had 11 brothers. Now question number 2. What did Joseph's brothers do to get rid of him? Option A, they killed him. Option B, they threw him into the sea. Or option C, they sold him as a slave. Come on children, type in the answers. Right again children, it's option C. They sold him as a slave. Now question number 3. Joseph was lonely and no one cared for him. Is the statement true or false? Option B is the right answer, children. Although Joseph was rejected many times by people, God was always with him and cared for him. Great job, everyone. You did so well. Hi, children. Do you all remember the power verse for this week? The one from Isaiah chapter... 43 verse 2. Let's see if you remember it. I'm going to jumble up the words in the power verse and you will have to arrange it in the right order. Are you ready for the challenge? You will have 30 seconds to get it right. Let's go. Well done everyone. Now let's use this power verse to do some scripture art. Today we learned about how God cares for us and that we are not alone, right? So let's write that down. God cares for us when we have troubles. You know children, the troubles that we face in life are like the storms and these dark clouds. Remember that God is with you when you're going through the storms of life. The Bible also says that God cares for you when you cross rivers. Crossing a river is not easy, right? It's scary. Sometimes we go through situations in life that are scary too. But you can depend on God to make you brave. Remember that you are not alone. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2 also teaches us that when we walk through fire, we will not be burnt. The flames will not hurt us. 
Again here the fire represents the difficult things that we face in life. But God promises that he is with us and that we are not alone. God will protect us because he cares for us. Now I'm just going to be coloring my page. So I've written when you cross rivers to look like the waves of a river. Here when you walk through fire, I've written it to look like uh, fire logs. And I'm just coloring the dark clouds. And I'm just coloring my page here. So this is from Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2. Let's see our power verse together one last time. When you have troubles, I am with you. When you cross rivers, you will not be hurt. When you walk through fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not hurt you. Hope you enjoyed today's online service, kids. Join us again next week to learn more from God's Word. Do any of you have a testimony to share or a prayer request you want us to pray for? You can write to us at kidsonline at apcwo.org. We'll be glad to hear from you. Wishing all those celebrating their birthdays this week a very happy birthday. God bless you. We will be praying for you. See you all again next Saturday, everyone. Bye.